Dope Dare Spit here, and this is How to Write a Short Film Part 7. Today is all about writing non dialogue films. We all love our words. Some of the greatest moments in cinematic history are defined by them. I'll be back. No. I am your father. I see dead people. Writer directors like Quentin Tarantino and Joss Whedon have made careers with them. And of course, who can forget the classic 80s action star one liners? Let off some steam, Bennett. Diplomatic community! Just been revoked. But there's something to be said about the craft of making a film that relies purely on the moving image to tell a story. And by purely moving image, I mean creating a film with no dialogue. By non-dialogue, I mean a film that doesn't have any talking, not to be confused with a silent film which has no sound at all. So you want to try your hand at telling a story minus the verbiage. Well, here are a few tips. One, make your life easier and write about something filmic. By filmic, I mean your character should be after something that you can point a camera at. Writing about someone trying to build a bicycle is vastly more filmic than writing about two characters trying to get a divorce. We'll know whether the guy had succeeded or failed because we can see whether he has the bicycle or not at the end of the film. Two, avoid writing about moments that would ordinarily require dialogue. You can't just write about a moment where people should be saying stuff and just remove the words. It doesn't work that way. For example, this is clearly a moment where somebody would be saying something. I know you didn't just steal her purse, fool. You about to get it. It's silence for its own sake and it feels forced. Takes us right out of the story. Three, use the five basic human needs to your advantage. This will really help you cut down on all that jibber jabber. So there is this dude named Abraham Maslow and he created this hierarchy of needs pyramid which categorizes human needs and motivations. All we really need to be concerned with are the bottom four categories. They're the most basic of needs, they're highly relatable, and they're easy to communicate visually. For example, a physiological need. A character is roaming the desert, his lips are chapped, he's obviously dying of thirst when he sees a bottle of water in the sand. We already know what's going on through that guy's head, right? He wants that bottle of water. No need for chit chat. The need for safety. If you show somebody running towards your character with a knife, do we really need chit chat to understand why your main character is probably going to run the other way? The need for love. Your main protagonist sees an attractive girl. We're, we're already going to make that connection. Esteem. If we see a kid getting bullied, do we really need dialogue to understand how humiliating that must feel? The short film, The Black Hole, is a great example of a non-dialogue film. Our main character, the office worker, goes after tangible things that we can see. We know he wants snacks because he looks at the vending machine right before he breaks into it. Same thing for the boss's office and the safe. We could literally point a camera at everything that this guy wanted and then you just get the accompanying reaction shot of him and we get it. It touches on the basic needs. First he steals food, well, just because he can, but then he steals money. We already understand why he would want money. Money represents wealth, security, resources. All that falls under the safety category. Do we ever have to explain why anybody would want money? Dollface. That's another great example of a non-dialogue film. The robot becomes fascinated by the television and mimics the images of beautiful women that it sees. We can point a camera at the women on the television screen and we can point a camera at the robots studying the images and mimicking them. This has the need for esteem written all over it. Most people can relate with the need to feel beautiful or desired. That kind of roots itself into survival because, I mean, we have to attract a maid in order to procreate and okay that went too far well there you have it writing non chit chat films is an art unto itself even though we love our words it's really beneficial for a filmmaker to understand how to tell a story without them I will leave a link in the description section to the films that I mentioned and the ones that I used for examples well that's all I got for you if you enjoyed what you saw please like oh subscribe you can find me on the social medias Facebook Instagram or the Twitter baby and also snapchat you could also check out my second YouTube channel Darius Britt where I vlog about my adventures on the film festival circuit my first feature link film unsound live casting vlogs etc etc i do believe that that is all that i got for you suckers deep it out booyah